Hello again, George here, and we're back with Camera Calibration Part 3. In this first part of actually getting something to be calibrated, that is detecting the corners on that uh, checkerboard, we are going to start with live calibration images. That means uh, a webcam or some other video device that's being pulled. And if you've already watched the tutorial I put out there on how to get access to that information and show it in a window, then this part is going to look very familiar to you. So why don't we go ahead and start. So we're going to need a few things. First of all, we need a mat, which is going to hold our frame, the, the frame of video information. Next up, we're also going to make another variable called draw to frame, which is just another uh, placeholder variable that we'll be working with. We also need to create a camera matrix or another mat object, which is just going to be an identity matrix, basically. And that's going to be a mat camera matrix is going to be equal to a mat colon colon I. And if the size is three by three, and the type is CV underscore 64 F. We're also going to need a mat object to store our distance coefficients. And we're going to need a vector of mat objects. The reason we're going to have a vector of mat objects is we're going to make it so that as we're polling, if we see a good calibration, we can manually save it out, or uh, really you could let the program detect if it found it and then save it out automatically. And now we need a big old vector of vectors that hold those point 2F objects. Remember, these are the points that are found, the marker corners. So uh, we're just prepping that one right here. We're going to end up passing that into our variable. We're also going to want another version of this called rejected candidates, which are ones that didn't meet the mark. So let's go ahead and start our video capture by doing video capture and zero for our first source vid zero. There we are. Check, of course, to see whether or not it opened up. Not equal to vid dot is opened. And we're just going to return. You know, if something went wrong here, that, that's pretty much it. What are frames per second are going to be? I'm going to do frames per second is equal to 20. We're going to create a named window. Let's call it webcam. And we're going to do CV underscore window underscore auto size. And it would probably be nice if I had done that earlier. There we are. So hopefully this is all familiar to you. This is all the same stuff we were doing before in my other tutorial videos. And now we begin the while true loop. While true. If the if we cannot read a frame, break. Whoops. There we are. Getting ahead of myself there. Frame. That's what we want. Now we need a vector that is going to store all of our found points. So let's do vector to F and found points. And let's make a new bool value and say found is equal to false. Because right now we haven't found anything. So in this example, we're actually not going to use this function. This is going to be useful when we're capturing individual images because we have a set number of images that we're pulling this information out of. Uh, we are going to manually code in this for live video at the moment, but it's going to be the same series of steps that I showed you last time. So let's do a found is going to be equal to find chessboard corners. We're going to pass in our current frame. We're going to do our chessboard dimensions. We're going to pass in our found points. And then now we pass in CV underscore calibration adaptive thresholding. And of course, CV underscore calibration normalize image. Great. Looks like I spelled dimensions wrong up here, which is why I was getting my error. So why don't we just go ahead and fix that? So dimensions coming on back down and dimensions dimensions right there as well. Now we're going to do a frame dot copy to. We're copying that frame data because we're going to want to draw to it. Draw to frame. That's why we have the two of them up here. So the, we have the actual frame that we capture, and then we have a frame where we're going to overlay if we do find the checkerboard or the, the chessboard uh, where the, it's found those particular points. So let's do another if found. We're going to do an I am show. 
and that's going to do a, it's gonna be the same window, so keep it the same name, webcam. Should probably put that in a variable. We're just gonna do draw to frame. Great, and else, we're going to do an IM show, and we're just gonna show whatever frame was actually there. And that's it. Ah, make sure that main returns a value. I'm gonna have it return zero. And return zero there too. Oh, haha, before we even do that, we also need to do our wait. So let's do a wait key right down here. And we're going to take our frames per second, since this is gonna be taking milliseconds, thousand divided by it, and that's how long we're gonna wait. And then we are going to capture the character the user presses because we're most likely going to want to exit uh, the loop or maybe perform other actions later on. All right, sorry there, everyone. There's actually been about a 20 minute pause. It turns out my uh, recording software grabs the webcam I have attached to my computer and makes it so that I can neither record and show you at the same time what's being shown. So I had to go in my basement, find an old second webcam and plug it in, cross my fingers that it works, and it does. And uh, there's one other thing that I noticed that annoyed me. I completely forgot to actually draw the uh, chessboard corners if we find them. So let's go ahead and do a draw chessboard corners. We're going to draw to the draw to frame variable we made. We're going to be passing in our chessboard dimensions. And then we are going to pass in our found points. And finally, of course, whether or not it was found. And now when we push out this variable will be drawing on the chessboard. Another thing, this is going to be incredibly slow. I am using the slow version of find chessboard corners. There is another optional flag if we add an or in here, cv underscore calib, and it's called fast check. It's good because um, it, it allows you to update things a lot faster. What it's not good at though is sometimes finding the calibration checkerboard from weird positions. A lot of times I'll just not work with the fast one. And you'll notice very soon that the refresh rate is horrible. Let's now cross our fingers that all these multiple webcams work and I'm gonna go and hit run. All right, so there's the webcam and there's, those are my markers. Notice the very slow refresh rate, but hopefully what you can see is it's doing a great job at finding all those corners. We lost it a little bit there because I'm shaky and it's blurry, but there you are. So this is just the very beginning of starting to do this stuff. Now that we've found these points, in the next video, we're gonna be able to take this information and then use it to create our three by three camera matrix. And then hopefully, of course, save that out. And in future videos, we'll also be looking at taking um, just images you might have. Maybe someone sent you images of their camera and also taking it automatically from a video source and generating your uh, best images and then calibrating with that. And once again, if you liked it, give me a like. If you don't like it, also tell me why. And uh, you want to see more stuff like this? Remember to subscribe. I'll see you all next time. So long. Bye.